Welcome back to the channel guys. So just yesterday I did a video on Arcade 1UP and I was talking about a lot of things but one thing specifically I had brought up was the arcade sticks on these machines and the micro switches going limp. A few people had asked about that and today I'm going to show you in this quick video, it's only a couple minute long video, uh, what I mean by the quality on these sticks. So I'm going to be showing you the Street Fighter cab, uh, the Galaga cab, and then a few other sticks of different brands that I use to demonstrate the quality behind these things. So we got the Galaga machine, the Street Fighter machine, then I have these couple 8-bit dough sticks. One of them has a Saimitsu stick and the other has the stock generic brand stick. And then my little Neo Geo two-player panel here has uh, Sanwa sticks. These sticks have all been used quite a bit more than the Street Fighter or the Galaga machine. And all arcade sticks are gonna have a little bit of slack, a little give. Um, these sticks I've used more than anything. And as you see, there's a little bit of give, not much. And that is normal. The first player stick I've used a ton. As you see from the bottom, just moving it, it it's just the way it is. They all are gonna have that little tiny bit of you know free movement, but it doesn't really affect the gameplay. The Saimitsu stick, very minimal, and I've used the crap out of this one playing like SNK heroines and whatnot. This stick, the generic one, very little movement as well. Now the Galaga stick, it's only a two-way stick, and I did say I didn't really have too much of an issue with this one. You're only going left and right, you're not doing any complex diagonals or anything like that with the Street Fighter uh, cabinet. This one, as you see, without clicking the micro switches, this thing is loose. I've shown you, I've not clicked the micro switches on these controls, I'm just showing you the free movement without activating those switches. Two player, it still has quite a bit of movement, I haven't really used that. The first player, I've barely used, and this thing, man, if you just barely nudge it to the left or right, here I was just clicking the micro switches, but if you just barely nudge it, it'll just stick in place. That is why a lot of people aren't able to do the moves in Street Fighter. They're having some issues and I just wanted to showcase this. Not the best of micro switches. They really could have spent, you know, a couple dollars more and put some decent quality micro switches in these units to ensure, you know, longevity with these sticks because eventually you are going to have to swap these sticks out. There's, there's no way around it. Um, especially with Street Fighter. I would imagine Mortal Kombat, if they're using the same micro switches, you're gonna run into the same issue. Over time, your micro switches are just gonna go bad. And yeah, over time, any micro switch can go bad. But these, I could imagine, with this, I've barely played it. And the, you can't really pull off moves very well. So this is like a full stick replacement. You can't just swap the micro switches with the way these are designed. So just wanted to point this out, let you guys see what I meant by that. Some people may have it a lot worse. Like I said, I've not really played this machine very much, but from the first day of playing it, it did start getting really loose and making it more difficult to play these games. So really do appreciate you guys stopping and smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sweet ass love to that notification bell. With that said, guys, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out, bye bye and boom.